everybody, welcome back. We have a lot of really fun stuff planned for today. Um, Bao Bao had a thought the other day. He wanted to learn a little bit more about some instruments that he doesn't know too much about. And so he gave me an idea. I went ahead and called some of my friends who are musicians and I asked them if they would mind sending us a video to teach us a little bit about their instrument and maybe play something for us. So we're going to watch three videos today and the next videos that I send you will have more of my musician friends teaching us about their instruments. So Bao Bao, can you guess what instruments we're gonna learn about today? Nope, it's not the drum set. Oh no, it's not our shaker. Those were cool, but that's not what we're learning about. Yes, we're going to learn a little bit about the oboe today. Oh, he loves the oboe. He's very excited about that. We're also gonna learn about an instrument called the harp, and we're also gonna learn about an instrument called the pipe organ. It's gonna be really fun. Let's go ahead and meet my friends. We're gonna meet my friend Sage, and she lives over in California. She plays the harp, and it's a big, tall instrument, and it you have to use your feet and your hands to play it. Let's learn about it. Hi guys, I'm here to introduce my harp. This is Georgia. She is a harp made in Italy, and I got her when I was about 17. So here is the lowest note on the harp. It rings for a very long time. And here is the highest note. Can you guess how many strings are on the harp? There are 47, 47 strings on the harp. And boys and girls, there are also seven pedals, seven pedals. Here you can see the seven pedals of the harp. One, two, three, and then they continue around four, five, six, Seven. And there is one for each note of the musical scale, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then of course it goes around again. So here I have my C pedal, and I can have it in flat position, natural position, or sharp position. So I can move these pedals all around depending on how I want the strings to sound. Let's try it like this. Hmm, let's try it like this. Try one more. So before each song, I set my pedals the way I want them for the song. The harp is a traditional instrument in Irish folk music, and I'm going to play you a little Irish tune called the butterfly. very old instrument. Uh, the earliest known harps were 5,000 BC. So that was a long time ago that people started making harps. Um, and the first harps were made 
um, probably from someone who was using a bow and arrow. And when they loosed the string of the bow, it went twang. And they thought, oh, hey, that makes kind of a cool sound. So there was a bow with one string, and they added another one, and another one, and another one, until they could go twang, 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 kind of like hot cross buns with three strings. Now, eventually, they got to this harp that has 47 strings. Besides playing the strings with a pluck, there are a couple special ways that we play notes on the harp. One is called a glissando. Say glissando. Glissando. It's an Italian word that means to slide, and um, when I slide my finger up the strings, it sounds like this. Another special effect we get on the harp is called a harmonic. And you can play harmonics on lots of strings and in stringed instruments, and actually some other instruments as well. Um, but on the harp, it sounds like this. Here is a normal note. Here's the harmonic. So it sounds higher, but it also has a kind of bell-like sound, so you'll hear that in the next piece. This is called a rond 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 petit pas de pont. That's French, and it's basically gibberish. It just means tra la 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 or something like that that's fun to say in a song. But um, it's based on a folk song that was about a little shepherdess in the woods. sounds um, when you go all the way up and all the way down in that glissando that she was talking about. Um, which song did you like more? You like the butterfly? Me too. I thought that one was good. Okay, now we're going to meet my friend Mr. Themig. Mr. Themig lives in Wyoming and he's going to teach us about the pipe organ, which is kind of like a piano, but it's got a couple different um, sets of keys and a lot of buttons. Hello, my name is Mr. Themig and I teach music in Sheridan, Wyoming, and I'm going to be teaching you about the pipe organ. If you've ever been into a church, especially old churches, they have pipe organs. Now this is an electric organ, so I don't have any actual pipes to show you because it's just playing through speakers. But it's the same general idea. We have um, our foot pedals, of course. And then, of course, we have um, the grate. This is the grate keyboard, and it is the most important one. 
and then of course we have the swell. Um, some keyboards will commonly have a chorister and then the swell. This one just has the, the grate and the swell. Now if I come up here, you can see these stops. These stops, um, sometimes organs will have, it's like a knob you pull out. This is electric so they are little switches. These are the pipes for the pedals. This is the pipes for the swell, the pipes for the grate, and then um, some special other ones. So if I was playing, um, let's say two eights and two fours, that would sound like this. That's the length of the pipe. So we have two medium sized pipes and two um, shorter pipes, which means that it's gonna be medium to high sound. If I wanted to make it um, lower, then I'm going to um, open the 16, which is a much longer pipe. Because remember that the longer the instrument or the bigger the instrument, the lower the sound. So now, that sounds a little lower. And so, um, if I were to play a song, it might go something like this for the first verse. People are coming into the church, I wanna wake them up, and I want them to start singing. And so, we're gonna start like this. And then maybe for the second verse, uh, I might switch it up a little bit, and I'm going to go to the swell now, and it's going to be a little less loud. And then what I might do for the third verse, I want to mix it up. I want it to be really loud. I'm going to be using my foot pedals, and um, we're really going to be shaking the rafters now. And so uh, this would be the last time that I play, so it's going to be um, very, very loud. Here it goes. So that's a little bit about the pipe organ. Um, if I didn't mention it, if you can tell, the stops, most of the stops are actually in French, um, German, and English, I'm sorry, Italian. French, German, and Italian, because the pipe organ is most popular in France and um, Germany. And then there's, of course, some pipe organs in Spain and Italy and other parts of Europe. But just like we use a lot of words um, from the Italian language for our dynamics, like piano and forte and so on. So this is just a little bit about the pipe organ. Hope you enjoyed it. Boy, Bow Bow, that pipe organ sure sounded really neat inside of that church, don't you think? Did you like it when it was loud or soft? Loud. Okay, our next video is going to be your favorite. We're gonna learn about the oboe, which is a woodwind instrument. And my friend, Mrs. Monarch, plays the oboe, and she's going to teach us about it. Hello, everyone. My name is Mrs. Monarch, and I'm here today to show you about my instrument, which is called the oboe. The oboe is part of the woodwind family. Not only is it made out of wood, this dark part, but the most important part is the reed is made out of wood and that's where the sound is produced. The oboe is a really cool instrument because it's what's called a double reed instrument. So unlike the clarinet or saxophone, which has a single reed, the oboe along with English horn and bassoon have a double reed. So one side of the reed, then the other side of the reed. Okay, and then those two pieces of wood are tied together with this string, which is that bluish color, and hooked onto this piece of cork, which is what goes in the top of my instrument. If you look, you can see a tiny, tiny hole between the two pieces of wood, and that's what I blow into to make the sound. Double reed instruments are super cool because you can make sound with just the reed and without a mouthpiece or anything. This is what it sounds like. Pretty cool, huh? Now when it's on the instrument, it sounds even cooler. So let me make sure I have it all lined up here. Yep, all right, this is what the oboe sounds like. All right, so 
that's what it sounds like. I'm going to play a couple songs for you today. One you will recognize and one you will not recognize. Here is the one you probably will not recognize. piece for you there. Now here is another wolf song that you might recognize, hopefully you recognize. Do you know what piece that was? That was Hedwig's theme from Harry Potter. I've been playing the oboe since I was in sixth grade, which was a very long time ago. I played it all through middle school and high school and college, and I play it even now. Um, I wish I could ask you questions to, or ask if you have any questions about my instrument, but that won't really work. So here um, you can see the instrument is made out of wood, and then the keys are made out of metal. The keys, some of them have holes that I have to cover with my fingers, and some of them are more solid that I don't have to cover any holes. Um, you can see that my pinky has a whole bunch of different keys here to choose from, and then you can see what the keys do. So these control those down there, which makes the instrument longer when I press those keys, and therefore makes the notes lower the longer the instrument is. It's nice to have these keys for my pinkies that I can control down here because without that, I wouldn't be able to play very many notes because I can't cover down there and up here all at the same time. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the oboe today. I think it is the best, the best instrument ever. All right, have a great day. Bye. Were you able to figure out that song, Bow Bow? What was it? You're right, it was Harry Potter. That was really cool to see that. Did you enjoy that? Good. I'm glad that you liked watching Mrs. Monarch. It was really fun watching all of my friends teach us some about instruments, and we're going to learn a little bit more. Um, we're going to learn more instruments next time. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and read a story. Five Little Monkeys with Nothing to Do by Eileen Christelow. It is summer. There is no school. Five little monkeys tell their mama. We're bored. There's nothing to do. Oh, yes, there is, said mama. Grandma Bessie is coming for lunch, and the house must be neat and clean. So, you can pick up your room. Five little monkeys pick up and pick up and pick up until everything is put away. Good job, says Mama. But we're bored again, say five little monkeys. There is nothing to do. Oh, yes, there is, says Mama. You can scrub the bathroom. The house must be neat and clean for Grandma Bessie. So the five little monkeys scrub and scrub and scrub until the bathroom shines. Good job, says Mama. But we're bored again, say five little monkeys. There's nothing to do. Oh, yes, there is, says Mama. You can beat the dirt out of these rugs. The house must be neat and clean for Grandma Bessie. Five little monkeys beat and beat and beat the rugs until there was not a speck of dirt left. Good job, says Mama. But we're bored again, say five little monkeys. There is nothing to do. Oh, yes, there is, says Mama. You can pick some berries down by the swamp. Grandma Bessie loves berries for dessert. Five little monkeys run down to the muddy, muddy swamp. They pick and pick and pick berries until Mama calls. It's time to come home.
Five little monkeys run inside while Mama picks flowers. Put the berries in the kitchen, calls Mama. Wash your face and put on clean clothes. Five little monkeys wash their faces. And they put on clean clothes. Grandma Bessie is here. Five little monkeys race outside. They hug and kiss Grandma Bessie. We've been busy all day, they say. We clean the house and pick the berries for you. I love berries, says Grandma Bessie, and I love a clean house too. And they all go inside. Oh my, says Grandma Bessie. Oh dear, says Mama. Oh no, say the five little monkeys. Who messed up our nice clean house? I can't imagine, says Mama, but whoever did has plenty to do. The end. Baba, did you have fun today? Was your favorite part the oboe? Good. I liked the harp. I thought that was really pretty. Um, should we read our launch today? Will you grab it? Thank you, Bow Bow. Our launch today says, great works are performed not by strength, but by perseverance. Boys and girls, Bow Bow and I miss you so, so much. And we hope that you're staying well and you're doing okay. We can't wait to see you again. And we hope that you have a good rest of your week and we'll see you next time for more videos on different instruments. Have a great week. Bye.